The tributes continue for actor, comedian Bob Saget, who died suddenly yesterday at the age of just 65. The scene late last night at the Full House home in San Francisco. You see that fans have left flowers and mementos at a memorial there. Saget played the widowed father Danny Tanner on that series for eight seasons starting in 1987. He was also the original host of America's Funniest Home Videos as of 1990, and he was a successful stand-up comedian. In fact, he was on a comedy tour and had just performed in Orlando when he was found dead in his hotel room yesterday. According to police, foul play and drugs not factors in his death. But we'll be awaiting further word. We're certainly hearing plenty of word by way of tribute and reaction. And Eli is back with us to tell us more about Bob Saget, very favorite TV dad for so many, Eli, and the reaction to his sudden passing. That's right, Heather. I mean, anytime you have a show like Full House, which was on air for eight seasons, and he played such an amiable TV father, this guy raising this group of kids. I think a lot of people grew up feeling they had a connection to Bob Saget and Danny Tanner, the character he played. And then he went on, as you said, to host America's Funniest Home Video. And then very different kind of personality if you caught him on stage as a stand-up comic where he would actually be quite raunchy and I think he enjoyed um, reminding people there were other sides to his personality but you know what really has come out in the reaction just besides the shock and surprise. I mean, as you mentioned, this is a tweet that he shared just over the weekend. He was excited to be back on the road. So this came out of nowhere. But what everybody who knew Bob Saget talked about is that, yes, his comedy could be a little edgy, but he was just a kind, loving, supportive guy in the industry. Take a listen to what Norm Macdonald, our own late comedian, had to say about Bob. He was at a roast but he couldn't help himself. Here's what he had to say about Bob Saget. In all seriousness, Bob was the first comedian that I ever saw perform uh, when I was a boy, live, and uh, I loved him. Uh, but one thing that bonds us as comedians is we're bitter and jealous and, and we hate everyone else that has any success. But <laughs> Bob, honestly, has never had an unkind word for anybody. And uh, I love him, and I hope uh, everybody else does. So uh, I just want to say that. And you saw that sentiment echoed uh, throughout uh, social media last night. Uh, Uncle Jesse himself, John Stamos, uh, sharing on Twitter, I'm broken, I'm gutted, I'm in complete and utter shock. Uh, I will never, ever have another friend like him. I love you so much, Bobby. Candace Cameron Burr, DJ Tanner saying on Instagram, a beautiful shot of her hugging him, I love you so much. I don't want to say goodbye. 35 years was not enough. Look at that. And from Josh Gad, and again, this sentiment of just what a wonderful guy that Bob was. It wasn't a kinder person in Hollywood than Bob Saget. I'm having trouble wrapping my head around this. I don't want to believe this. It's all too much to handle. So a shock, but certainly leaves behind a legacy uh, of love from the people who knew him best. A lot of loss in 2022 already, Eli. Oh, my goodness. And we'll continue to follow the reaction to Bob Saget's death. Thank you for that, Eli, from Toronto this morning.